What is going on guys? Welcome to your fifth Photoshop tutorial and in this lesson I'm going to teach you guys how to change the image's size. So we have this image right here of me feeding a deer. Just go ahead and open up any image, it doesn't really matter. And this photo is pretty big right now. It, it's almost taking up my entire computer screen and if I wanted to post this image on a website or I don't know maybe Google Plus or something where it's generally better to have images that are a little bit smaller what I want to do is I want to change the overall size of this image so in order to change the size we need to edit the image size properties so in order to access that go ahead and select image image size now what this allows you to do is change the images size now if you don't have all these options available then what you need to do is you need to make sure that resample image checkbox is checked this pretty much allows you to change the size of the image that's all it means resize image now another thing that you probably want to do is you want to make sure that you have constraint proportions checked and this just helps you because whenever you um decrease the size as I'm about to do it keeps it proportional because if you just changed the width or only change the height then your image would be dis distorted or skewed so it's better to have this constrained proportions checkbox checked checkbox checked uh, kind of a tongue twister there so say we wanted the width to be 600 instead of over a thousand so go ahead and type in 600 right here and whenever you do that notice that the height automatically changes as well why does it do that because that's the height it needs it calculates all this automatically to make it proportional to the original image so that's really all you need to do um, the only other thing is you have these options right here at the bottom on this drop down list it says like nearest neighbor by linear by cubic what you generally want to choose is by cubic automatic this I won't get into all this uh, right now some are best for different types of uh, images but by cubic automatic is the best for all around high quality results whenever you're resizing images so just go ahead and make sure you have that selected and once you get your sizes resize hit OK and check it out our image is now smaller still awesome amazing quality pretty freaking cool huh so that is how you resize an image but what if you want to resize the canvas now <coughs> oh excuse me so say that you wanted to make a border around this image what you need to do then is you need to resize the working area or the canvas of this document so in order to do that just go to image and then you go to canvas size and then this is where you resize the canvas so enter a new canvas size in of course since we're working in pixels let's go ahead and change this to pixels and the original canvas is just the original size of the image which is 600 by 454 now let's say we want to I don't know put a border of 100 pixels around each one so this is going to be 800 and this is going to be 654 now what this relative checkbox means is if you click it relative pretty much means how much more so instead of saying okay what do you want the size of the new canvas to be you can hit relative and this means 200 more for the width and 200 more for the height but I always like to leave that unchecked because I don't know it's just personal preference now what confuses a lot of people is this anchor right here generally probably I don't know 90 percent of the time you want to keep your anchor in the middle right there in the ankle anchor is this circle little uh, button icon whatever you want to call it but what anchor means is where do you want to anchor your original image because whenever you make a canvas it makes pretty much a border around the image so if we anchor this in the top middle or it'll probably be better if I anchor in the top left then what this means is it's gonna draw the canvas on the right hand side the bottom it's pretty much going to draw the canvas on the right and the bottom well yeah I just said that so the only other thing that we need to do is we need to put a canvas extension color it's a pretty big name for what color do you want the canvas to be so if you double click this you can go ahead and choose a color I'll make mine I don't know red or something looks pretty good hit OK so what we pretty much said is 
The current size of this image is 600 by 454. We want to change the canvas size. We're not stretching or shrinking the image at all. What we're just doing is changing the canvas size to 800 by 654. So we have more space to work with, but the image isn't going to change. Now the canvas size, or excuse me, the canvas color is going to be red and it's going to be and the image is going to be anchored in the top left. Now remember this right here because whenever I click OK, this gives you a better idea of what that anchor means. You can see that the anchor, or the original image, as they should have called it, is in the top left, and the canvas is now on the right hand side and on the bottom. So again, that's why I said that most of the time it's better to um, put your anchor in the middle because that gives you a nice even canvas all around your picture but just for demonstration purposes I think that more clearly demonstrates what an anchor is used for but generally put it in the middle but anyways that's the uh, pretty much basics of this tutorial thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video